specifics to look which will be a bit more curious. Bush Baby are the only people who use a top tension buckle arrangement here that actually slides to fit the right height of the person you are. So you haven't got the, you don't have to go through the hassle of undoing a lower buckle and redoing a top buckle. The back adjustment system is relatively straightforward. We call it Big Eye. Big Eye is based for people who are about five foot tall to people who are about six foot four. And it's a simple color system. If I was six foot four, I know that's the top setting. I would, because that's blue, I would feed in at blue. And it then comes out at blue. That is the adjustment. Bush Baby has stayed using a system that takes about 20 or 30 seconds longer to adjust than the other brands. We're very keen to keep this central bar which is adjustable. Because at the end of the day, this central area here, that's the area which is in contact with your spine, is soft. The actual support bars are here, they're on the outside. There are methods that use rods down the middle. It's a fundamental disagreement of design principles. It's easier to adjust if the rod is down the middle, but we're more concerned with the comfort. Just like the amount of comfort we put into the child seat area. Now the third part of any child carrier is always the storage. Storage is generally big. That's the main compartment. And then on top of that, we also have the top pocket. Um, their combined totals are 32 litres, which is plenty enough for a normal day sack. When you're out by yourself, you've got not only everything you need, it's everything the kid needs. If I'm out with my wife, only if I'm really lucky does she carry a day sack. Normally I have to carry enough for the three or four. Um, have you got any sun carriers? Sun, uh, with all child carriers, when you're looking to buy them, people always ask me questions. Sun canopies, rain covers, uh, rain covers, what other extras can you find? Standard sun canopy, on all of them, they tend to go in just at the back, and a sun cover offers good shade. This is UV mesh, in fact this is the full one with the roll down front as well for when they fall asleep. Um, when you're not using them, they store out of the way in the main compartment. Theory taking up no, no room. Rain covers are good. Personally, I very rarely use a rain cover because the sun cover operate, offers some protection from vertical rain. But the main reason why I don't use it is normally if it's a wet, damp day, either I'm too chicken to go walking or I dress my kid in a waterproof suit. And both my daughters adore the waterproof suit. When we finish walking, or when we get to a break halfway through, I take them out and they're now prepared to go and splash in any puddle. I don't have to redress them. Uh, other things to look for, look for things like leg loops. Leg loops act in the same way as a riding stirrup do to a saddle. Just something when the, your child approaches about nine, nine to 12 months and they start to carry a bit of weight, you're just taking the pressure from being purely on the seat to also being on their legs. If they can force down on their legs, they get blood flow. If they get blood flow, they can be happily carried for two hours at any one time. Two hours is about the maximum carrying time any adult can carry a child. Because the adult wants to take a break, you know, rest, eat, do things. Um, you can keep a child in a child carrier for eight hours if it's properly adjusted and 
more importantly, it's got leg loops, something to increase the blood flow. But if you can have a child who will sit there for eight hours, you have a better child than one I have. Um, otherwise, different between the carriers, really. Uh, this is our top of the mountain brand. Um, it's called the Pinnacle. This symbol means there's actually something very much like a pair of mountain bike uh, suspension coming down here. As the child moves around, that movement is not translated through to your main harness. If I take you on to the other varieties, that is five foot, six foot four. The light is three back positions, five foot two to six foot. Um, under two kilos, an extremely lightweight carrier. Still exactly the same child seat area with the amount of padding. And you've got 25 litres of storage for the post two. Um, this is the pinnacle. This is the carrier with everything included. Um, once again, like the on the elite, is like the pinnacle, it's got a cutaway frame to help grab it. This not only comes with a sun canopy, this also comes with a rain canopy and the extra storage on the back. The advantage of the extra storage on the back that can be turned into a day sack. So if I'm carrying Lottie, my wife can carry the bag with the chain. Um, the cornerstone of our range, what Bush maybe created 17 years ago, is the Premier. Oh, minor things. You've even got hydration pocket. Um, external pocket. Design that's been in our range for 16 years, and for the first time in 16 years, we've changed the silhouette. So we've actually beefed it up, made it slightly more voluminous, and we've also cleaned it up. Although there is, there are still straps all over the place, we've actually cut down on half the number of straps. We've done things like hidden straps underneath here, so it doesn't look like such a spaghetti junction of confusion to put on. And the last one is the light, which you go in for. But that, in essence, is the Bush Baby range of carriers. We also have two entry level carriers. The main difference with the entry level carriers, you've got limited storage, you've still got padding, but you've got no adjustment system on the back. So you're looking for people who are around 5 foot 3 to 5 foot 10. 5 foot 9, 5 foot 10, approximately those heights. Much simpler to put on. Um, whereas I showed you how to stand on the frame there, here we actually see the frame on the outside so we can see where to put our foot to load the number. As far as child carriers go, that's the cornerstone of what we do in the outdoors.